Okay, so uh, for our group project, we decided to create a housing portal for Dev Mountain. So many of you may not know this, but Bree, whom we all love and she's a super, super great person, she runs all of the student housing from spreadsheets. And I hope you all can see the irony of that, this being a place where people come to learn how to build software. So we decided to solve that problem for her with a real business solution from which she would be able to manage all of the students and all of the properties from all campuses in Dev Mountain. Uh, and the way we had gone through building this project is one person didn't have one particular view or one like particular feature. Everybody really contributed to every page to every feature. So what we're gonna do is we're each gonna take a couple minutes and then walk you through uh, separate features for the whole application. Uh, and uh, Paige here is gonna kick us off by walking us through a couple of the panels on our uh, admin page. All right, so this entire menu on our admin page is a panel that we imported with Bootstrap and did some custom CSS on. Um, if you open it up, each of these forms um, was integrated with Redux forms. And it'll allow us to create a new student in this panel. So let's say I'm going to recreate Jeremy. 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 Okay, we'll go Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then enter all of his information. And you get to pick his gender, campus, date of birth. When you select the cohort here, this automatically updates the date that he would be arriving in the meeting from Dev Mountain and select whether or not his deposit is paid. Um, over here you get to enter in all of the specific student information which I'm not going to do right now but if you enter in the address um, I had to create a function that allowed you to take the physical address and we hit a Google Maps API that takes the uh, geolocation and takes the latitude and longitude and subtracts it from the latitude and longitude of whichever campus um, you're supposed to be going to and determines your eligibility, whether you are eligible for student housing or not. Um, and then all of that updates in the database as well as this information here. And also in the new cohort, cohort panel, this allows for you to create a new cohort or um, delete a cohort. Um, and also when you are entering in all of your information for the campus, this is um, dynamically updated with the database and everything on the front. I think that's my part and I'm going to pass it off to you. Thank you. I'm Pen. Uh, I focus on front end. So I did a lot Redux and Redux 4. So the big conference for me is to in the Redux form inside another Redux form. So I'm going to go through that element and create new properties. So here, uh, that's where uh, we can create a new element. And if we uh, edit this, it will change. Save and save it in the bottom. So if she needs help, she can create a new admin. So let's say Germany. Okay. It's not you, Jeremy. Here, if we create a new canvas, we can add a, a new building. So, okay. so, we click save. 
safe. And if we go back, let's show up here. Here is the, where we can create a new apartment for, to a building. So if we select a building and we put the number of building, city select type, and the age of the apartment name. Once we click create, we can add a new one to the new apartment. So there's like three windows for nesting each other. So we can create the room now. So when it's save it, we will save it in the database. So now I'm gonna pass to Steven. Okay, as you can see from the forms, uh, there's a database backing it up. Uh, each campus has some properties, some apartment buildings that uh, depended on it, and each building has some apartments in it, and each apartment has different rooms in it, and the rooms have some beds in them. And then you assign the student to the room, and they're also assigned to a cohort, and the cohort is also dependent on the campus. Uh, I put together the database, the relational database I set that up, and I used, uh, I took most of the back end work, uh, Node and Express, and um, we're, we're still working on our passport feature to log in. Um, and another feature that I worked on students page. Um, this lists all the students that are active. Um, you can filter them by campus, by cohort. Yeah, I'm going to get some more students in those cohorts, or you can just have all the cohorts. Some of them still need housing, some of them paid for deposit, some of them are 21 over, uh, Dead Mountain we need to keep the uh, underage students in a separate uh, room so that for uh, legal reasons. Uh, um, and uh, there's also in the, the students, um, when the students sign up, they can fill out a form or they have need certain accommodations. Uh, like maybe, maybe someone uh, needs a wheelchair ramp or something they can fill that out and this filter can tell you which students have accommodations in the list. Uh, you can also filter by gender, which is good because you don't want to mix genders in there. And then if you click on a student, you have a button over here, um, you can edit all of his information. Change his arrival date. You know, here's the, there's a clickable uh, calendar that, that you can select the dates. And you can change his cohort. That cohort um, menu is pulling live from the database, so uh, it's just pulling up cohorts that are active right now for upcoming. So uh, my name is Jeremy. Uh, for this project, I focused mainly on project coordination uh, and uh, getting Redux to work. Because for all three of us, React was a brand new framework. And that was really interesting for us to learn this tech and get it into a project this big. And the feature that I'm going to be showing you is this apartments list. So this uh, uses a very similar filter that we saw on the students list. So here, we can filter all of the apartments based on if they're, uh, like based on their gender, based if the housing is for people over 21, 
And what's really interesting here is on the right hand side, these are all the students that don't have a place to live. So what Brie can do is she can go to this apartment right here. And so there's one room and there's two empty beds. So she can say, like, oh, let's take Bobby Holiday and let's drop her into this room. And now Bobby has a place to sleep. But because Bobby's going to be really lonely without any friends, let's put in uh, Jenny Bo Benny to live with her as well. Let's try this guy over. And now they're roommates. But let's say Bobby and Jenny get into a really big fight and Bobby uh, punches Jenny in the face. <laughs> Bobby has to go home. You can't stay here. So Bree can just kick Bobby up and then Jenny has her own room all to herself. Um, and so this lists all of the apartments for any given match that matches the filter. Um, so that's the core of our uh, project. So the main tech that we used, uh, we used uh, React with Redux, uh, HTML, CSS, used um, a lot of SAS, lots of Bootstrap to manage the uh, date picker and formatting of the dates. We used Moment.js. Uh, Peng mentioned that we used Redux Forms. It's really very powerful tool. Um, uh, and I also modified a React drag and drop library to get the drag and drop function that you just saw. Um, the backend was created with Node.js and Express, with Postgres. Um, and because our ultimate goal for this project is to get it implemented at Dev Mountain so we can have Bree actually using this, uh, this project isn't finished. Uh, some of the few features that we plan on implementing in the future is a webhook with Dev Mountain's website. So as soon as a student signs up and they say, yes, I need housing, they will get sent a form to fill out all their information rather than Bree getting an email so she has to input information in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, we also are going to implement a statistics dashboard for the administrators so they can see how many work orders are open, how many students don't have rooms, um, and we're also going to work on a feature that will automatically place students. So it will filter through any of the information that the student put in and then automatically find them an appropriate room to live in. And that is our Dev Mountain Housing Corp. That was a great project. I think they're all going to be right at home in this industry. <laughs>